It's too hard. There's too much information. Facebook, Twitter, dear God, where, where does it stop? And I don't do Facebook as much because people, you can type as much as you want, and that's the problem. People don't know when to shut up. It's like diarrhea of the fingers. Like somebody, <laughs> like some, a mob person should come in with a hammer and just break their fingers and go, oh, you're done. You're, you're done. <laughs> well, I had a bagel this morning. I thought about having a donut, but Dr. Oz says they're really the same thing. It depends on what you put on top of the bagel. I like that thick cream cheese. Now, sometimes I've seen people put salmon on top of a bagel. I find that so perplexing. I'm from Wisconsin. I can't imagine just slapping a wall I write on my thing. Maybe it's a Jewish thing. Da, 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 da. Oh my God, no, no. That's a lot why I like Twitter. It's 140 characters and then they kick you off. You don't have to approve people. You can follow me. Yeah, there's all kinds, it's like a little, little baby Jesus. People just sign up, follow me all through town. Great, fine. 140 characters, that's all you get. And I actually got in an argument with Lewis, my friend, because he goes, that's terrible. Is that what society's come down to? 140 characters, that's all your thought can be? Yeah, Lou. <laughs> yeah, and I think it's wonderful. And I think if you think about it, if anything was really important throughout history, it could have been said in 140 characters or less. If they had Twitter whenever, oh, look, here's a tweet. The British are coming. The British are coming. Oh, uh -oh, uh -oh, uh -oh. There you go. Do you need to know anything more? No, you don't. You don't need to know anything more than that. <laughs> ah, heads up, Nagasaki. Not kidding a second time either. Uh -huh. Hashtag, hope you have a hat. Things are gonna get weird. Yeah, I'm just saying, warnings, things like that. Mitt Romney said after many, many months, many, many months of thinking about why he lost the election, and you can Google this, he said he realized that it was mainly because he didn't tweet enough. <laughs> really? <laughs> That's what you're gonna tell yourself where you go to sleep at night. <laughs> you're just one tweet away from winning. <laughs> it's amazing how people can fool themselves. I didn't vote for Mitt Romney. It had nothing to do with politics. I didn't vote for Mitt Romney. I will never vote for Mitt Romney because he said, and I know he's telling the truth, because they would have proved differently. The press would have, and he's a devout Mormon, so I completely believe him, that at age 65, in his life, he had never had a drink, a drug, a cigarette, or a cigar. Ever. As an Irish Catholic, that sentence couldn't even go in my head. I just, <laughs> air, air, air. Invalid information, invalid information, rephrase, question, rephrase, question, check age, check age, check age. Because I said to my brother, think about it, Pat. The only people that we know that can truly say that are babies. <laughs> and that's just because they don't know yet. Yes, they like juice, but they haven't had a Bud Light. They don't know. And I judged him for that. And that's not fair to that man, but I did. I did, I judged him. Because to me, uh, a glass of wine, or a cigarette, or maybe a Lunesta, one of my favorites. <laughs> if you've never taken a Lunesta, but you've seen the commercial, I'm here to let you in on a little secret. That neon butterfly is real. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Green, pink, ah, oh, they're beautiful. But those are the ways a normal adult relieves stress to me. Well, a cigar, maybe some pot, whatever it is you do. And if you don't do any of those, any of them, my mind goes to alarm state where I go, uh-oh, uh-oh, alien, alien. Uh, I think you're sleeping with a goat. That's how weird it is to me. That's not fair to Mitt Romney. <laughs>